Hey guys, today I thought I'd share with you a neat little exercise for improving your punching power. Um, it does, it, it helps improve your punching power by giving you some feedback on your rotation. Um, intramuscular and intermuscular cueing is a big part of skill development and this gives you a lot of feedback. Uh, before showing the exercise, I just wanted to touch up on some of the key points of power development so that we ha have a good frame of reference. Uh, power starts from the ground up. We, we hear that all the time. We're pushing off the earth to create forward drive. This is forming the first circle that we're dealing with. It's about the width of our feet because we come forward driving off the earth. Our hip starts to come into play. That's the second uh, that's the second link that's occurring for power development. The trunk stays pretty stiff. In other words, we want to keep it rigid and our core itself must be tight in order to transfer that energy up. The shoulder should be in line with the hip and that's where this drill is going to, is going to uh, bring your attention to the shoulder. Okay, once the shoulder rotates over, it should be perpendicular to your standing hip position. So we should be here. So if we start from here, we drive off the earth, rotate into it, and there's the power. Here we go. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at how much our hip contributes to the power of the punch. If we look at, this is my uh, hip alignment just in my fighting stance. As my punch comes around, the hip has contributed quite a bit. So notice that again. A common visualization that beginners are told in order to improve their punching power is to visualize themselves punching through the bag. Unfortunately, very often what this does is it, it contributes to mostly arm punching as the, as the emphasis is on the extension of the arm. Instead, what I want you to do is to visualize the power coming from the ground up, sort of like a reverse tornado where the vortex is right on top. Okay, The drill that we're going to use is going to give us feedback because we're going to use a medicine ball. But what I want you to do is visualize the shoulder pulling back. The weight of the medicine ball is going to give us some really good feedback in engaging the pulling muscles behind the shoulder. So what we're doing essentially is pulling the shoulder rearward, this shoulder towards this hip. Pull. Pull the shoulder, push the hip. When you couple those two forces, you should notice your punching power go up. So we'll take the medicine ball and we'll hold it. We'll approach the, the heavy bag and for, for this example we'll be using the hook punch and the cross. So I hold the, the medicine ball right here on my peg, high. I load up and throw the punch. Now what I'm doing is I am pulling the medicine ball to create the rotation in my fist. Boom. Pull the medicine ball. Pull the medicine ball. The cross, the cross, and I'm probably going to be going out of frame if I do this, so I'm just going to demonstrate it in the air. The cross is the same thing. I switch over to the opposite pack from fighting stance, and now I pull the medicine ball. Bam. Pull the medicine ball. Okay, by emphasizing the pulling from the opposite side and the pushing from the power or from the uh, technique side hip, uh, you should be uh, creating a situation where you're displaying a greater degree of power, of power. So remember, pull from the opposite shoulder, weapon side hip pushes, and the coupling of those two forces should show a noticeable increase in your striking power. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm Tony Torre with the Miami Art Group. Until next time, take care.